Welcome back Wanderers and today we're doing some upgrades to Lucy. Um, we're actually going to give her a little bit of a, a ground clearance. Um, not sure how else to describe it. Basically what we're going to do is we are going to uh, take off the steps which will give us an extra uh, six inches of clearance um, between the uh, ground in the frame so it's a good easy upgrade um, we are going to get sliders uh, in the long run but right now we're just removing these just to get them out of the way for now um, and I'll explain why I'm just taking them off now and uh, instead of uh, putting the slider on now um, so this this process is actually pretty easy you only need two tools um, one is a uh, body trim or door trim remover and another is 12 mil a uh, couple extensions just to get up underneath so there's six bolts total that are 12 mil and see these little uh plastic tabs here that's what we're going to use that for you basically get it in behind it and just pop them out some of them are a little more difficult than others they pop out pretty easy so basically this tool just gets in and gets it out. So you have three in the back door here, um, which makes it pretty easy. And then I believe you have four in the front door. This one's a little more difficult to get at. There's three. And now let's go to the front door. easy to break so if you break one it happens like I just broke that one as you can see the tab came off and I broke two and that one came out all right so that's it up here um, now we go underneath and pull some bolts all right, so pretty easy. You have two bolts, hopefully you can see them right here. Uh, these are just the 12 mil. Just get it on. Okay. So what I do is, um, there's three of these brackets that hold this on, uh, two bolts in each. So I take off the closest one to the frame on each one and then I come back and remove the two outers and then the one in the middle that way it doesn't fall on me. It's pretty easy to do.
Alright, now we go to the inner bolt. two as well. The, the, the one all the way back. Here, there's a plug which runs the lights for the steps. So it's just a little tab. A little bit of dirt in that one. And then, we just have one last bolt, and the whole thing will come right down. So I support it with my forearm while I'm turning it, so I don't want it hitting me in the head. Mm -hmm. to support it but it's not very heavy no but i'm just saying all right so all the bolts are out and I just need on apart you just oh wow, look at that i missed one <laughs> tough to see them and just like that <laughs> so i left one of these plugs in and that held it up um but in the front, there is actually a little clasp. They have to kind of pop off. It's pretty easy. There's a little piece here, which is another trim, body trim removal piece. And And then there's a little pop thing that clips in there. You can see it right there. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, it's pretty easy. And we just gained about five, six inches with six bolts and eight clips. I did say I was going to give you an explanation. So on the uh, sliders that we've talked about getting actually reuses this piece here so we're going to be trimming this piece here yeah. and then this bottom piece which goes back in with those clips 
which is why I tried to keep them and not have to re replace them. But we'll be doing this modification um, probably with either a Dremel or a cutoff wheel um, and some masking tape when we get the sliders. I don't have the sliders yet, um, so I don't want to cut just yet because I want to measure properly before I do cut. But that being said, we are going to reuse them or parts of them and uh, it should be a lot of fun. So thanks for tuning in. Keep wondering, keep following. Make sure you give me a like, dislike, whether you like this type of stuff or not. Be sure to subscribe. <laughs> I'll do it myself. Um, and let the adventure begin. We'll talk to you soon, guys.